Hello everyone, this is Mr. Rios one more time and then in this case we're doing the second part of our tutorial about Microsoft PowerPoint. In this particular occasion uh, what we're going to do is to, uh, to learn how to uh, make our PowerPoint presentation automatic including uh, recording our voice. So if in case that we're absent or in case we need to make a presentation but we're not going to make it into the actual place, we could do that uh, by designing our PowerPoint, recording our voice, explaining different points of different slides and make uh, our PowerPoint automatic so you can still be presented into uh, your classroom or whatever you are, whatever you need to be and uh, it will still be you explaining the information. So the first thing you need to do is to have your PowerPoint already done just as I have it right here with your title, uh, introduction, all the information you need. Alright, right after you work on your PowerPoint presentation uh, and you're very likely to be in this uh, ribbon right here which is home you will click on the tab that says it insert. When you click there, you will go all the way to your right to the option that says audio. Right. So when you click there, you go to the last option that says record audio. When you do that, you will have this small window that will ask you to uh, start recording. And you can even name the recording. So uh, for this, in this case, I will put just title and I start recording by hitting the red button right here and I do the following okay. Energy and Matter by Mr. Rios and I just put stop and you'll see this and you can place it anywhere wherever you want and you can hide it, it doesn't have to be there like for uh, the whole presentation, it could just be there and once you have this audio track you will have the audio tools right here so uh, you can go to uh, the playback button and you check the box that says hide during show. So when you actually have your PowerPoint running, this little speaker over here will not show up. You will be able to listen to your recording, but you're not going to be uh, seeing this on your slide. All right? And you can add some uh, little effects like the duration and fade in and fade out. You can also trim the audio if case it's too longer and you can um, do the other things as you can do it for a regular audio um, file that you have recorded. So that we have. And you do that for every single um, slide. So you go to the next one, for example. You can go to insert, go to audio, record audio. And here, for example, I put intro. And I start recording. It says uh, the following presentation it's going to be about energy and matter. In the following slides, you are going to explore the different types of uh, states of matter, such as solid, liquid, and gas, and different processes that get them from one state to the other. Besides that information, we will be observing the different types of energy, such as eolic energy, hydraulic energy, and others. Hope you enjoyed the presentation. All right, so I just did that recording. All right, now you can see just about anything else, but this is just an example of something you could do. And again, you will have, once you have this audio track right here, you will go to the audio tools, go playback, and check the box that says hide during show. So it just doesn't show up right there. And you can actually play it. Yeah, I don't know if you guys can hear it. But it's there. Now, uh, you may have also. Uh, uh, the option on the playback on for the PowerPoint to, to play automatically or on click. What we want this to do is to play automatically. So once you have done this recording for every single slide, you go back to them if you want to. Or you could do this in any order of your choice. But I recommend you first do all the recording so you do one task at once. So you first do all the recording and uh, then you hide them all and then right after you do that when you are back into your uh, audio tools and just look at this if I click off my audio tools are gone so for you to be able to get your audio tools back you just have to click on that little speaker and they will, they are, they're going to be back so here we're going to just uh, select when we want the audio track to sound if we want them to uh, be on click or we want them automatically or play across lines this is, this is not a song that we want as the background of our uh, PowerPoint presentation we're going to just add automatically. So as soon as we have the slide on, 
we will have this um, track sounding. And uh, we're going to do the same thing with the next one, with the next slide. We will click on the other track. We're going to select automatically. All right. Now, uh, let's just uh, do the following now. When we go back here to the slide and you get the transitions, you could have the transition, right, uh, play automatically or on mouse click. It's very important that uh, you know that the slide usually by default is moved on mouse click. So you have to change that to after, and here you have to put the amount of seconds or minutes that you would like the slide to stay. Now, how long should the slide stay? It's the same amount of time that your recording lasts. And I suggest you put an extra second at the beginning and an extra second at the end. So in this case, I go to my track, I click on the playback, uh, I play it just to see how many seconds it actually lasts. Right, so I know that it's seven seconds and a little bit more. So what I do here is to uh, go back to my slide, go back to transitions, and here I would put seven. All right, so I'll delete this and I put seven, so it will be eight. All right, so I want this to last nine seconds. nine seconds in reality because uh, my recording seven seconds and uh, eight uh, milliseconds so I need to give it this kind of like two so that would give my presentation enough time to do that now we will do the same thing with this one I have to play the whole recording and if I don't want to hear the whole thing I just move my mouse and you'll see right here where is my mouse the, the length of your recording so the whole length is 28 seconds 64 milliseconds. I can stop here and uh, go back to my transitions. I'm here uh, on mouse click and I'm going to put, what uh, was it, 28? Okay. I'm going to put 30 seconds. So I put 30. 30 seconds. And that should work. And I just check the boxes after. All right. Uh, and uh, well, I can leave the on mouse click so it's also activated like that. So now let's go to the presentation and see how it works. Go there. All right. Hope you you can hear the, the recording in the back. If I put the speakers, you will yeah. be able to hear it. So that's me in the back. That's a recording playing automatically. And it'll move. But now, uh, I didn't have this particular slide moving automatically from uh, one to the other, so the person should will get stuck here. So I have to do that for all of my slides. So that's how you uh, actually put your presentation to be automatically playing, and that's how it moves. So two important things. Let me just review that. One, you go to Insert, go Audio, go to Record Audio, and you start recording. One more example, press there. Uh, solids are uh, shapes or objects that have a shape and a size, and the molecules are usually tight enough as for them not to move that actively as in other types of states of matter. All right, and I pause this and I stop it. Now, I'm not an expert in science, but this is just a simple example of uh, what you could be saying. So here I would just type, for example, solid. All right, and I press OK. So there I have the speaker. I don't want the speaker to show all my uh, slideshow. So go to the audit tools, playback, I go and I hide it. I go here and put automatically. So now it's going to play automatically as soon as the slide shows up and the speaker is going to hide. I go to transition. In transitions, I click on after and I need to tell the computer how long I would like the slide to stay. I move my mouse around here, 
check how uh, long is the recording. This one is 14 seconds, 57 uh, milliseconds. So I'm going to make it 16. I'm oh, sorry, is that how much? Did I say 14? Okay, yeah, 16. So I'm going to make it 16. 16 seconds, and there's a mouse click right now. And I save my uh, work, of course. Uh, I just save it, and it should play just normally, just like that. All right, so uh, I hope you guys uh, like this uh, tutorial, and um, well, give me any feedback if in case there was something else you would like to say or anything uh, that you would like me to work on. Uh, thank you for watching.